cause any trouble. Good. You're right on time. I reevaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. Good. Keeping Ularu in the dark is the key to taking her down. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program, so this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity, so before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I've no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget, the mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment.
Are you sure you're okay? You left. You want to chat? Fine. Find Demarcus. He's always willing to talk some more. Double check those measurements are right. This unit is not suited for addressing. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Yes, I always love a willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards, provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six. But who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. All right, let's get this party started. Who's finally up? The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, how are you feeling? You look good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Great! Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if... Any other side effects may manifest. <coughs> so, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Yes! Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. 
It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural amp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. I can't believe Vina finally pulled it off. With my help, of course. <clears throat> hey, welcome to R&D. future might be riding on this deal. The Eugen CEO is no joke. Good, you're here. I wasn't sure how accurate Vina's promise of no downtime was going to be. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. And wish he shall, every day, while he rots away in prison. All right, Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Yes, the less people you need to interact with, the better. Ideally, none at all. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an Overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Neuroamp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building, I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. 
And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. program. I'm certain Ularu won't pass up this opportunity. So, let's take a look. Aha! The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Yes, and had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. I've got my eye on you. This could be the most important meeting of my career. selling or moving yeah well then let me spell it out for you you either walked into the TA to buy some goods sell some goods or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price so instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works let's get a move on now that's what I'm talking about we both want to make some money, so what'll it be? 
You got the money. Or the goods. If you, uh, find anything else, make sure you prove it to me. Aren't you the one I saw running away from the galaxy? Huh? Please state the nature of your Don't medical worry, emergency. Dr. Hang will fix you up. Is it that obvious? Yeah, I haven't zoned in like a week. My whole body. Oh my goodness, another poor soul. Yeah. All right. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? He isn't gonna, you know, rat me out. To... Oh, you're certainly welcome to take a look, but I'm afraid we're dangerously low on supplies. That's what they want. Well, if it worked for Oh, I have supplies to sell. I just can't afford to give any of them away for free. You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Then you understand what I'm up against. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. I'm sure we can get you fixed up with something. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked. Insertion completed.
Ah, hello. I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You agreed with me that true purpose can be a driving force in life. I found that comforting, but something has been nagging at me since. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Thank you. I have always believed... No. Hoped. That is true. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... I would not presume to think we have had similar experiences. I would hope you would do the same. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from... One planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and... confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when... circumstances meant I, I might never see them again. With no warning. Until now I have disagreed strongly with that idea. But therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. Yes, you need me? Need to see what I'm carrying? I have sharpened the blade for this very occasion. Just in case we need it.
What is it? You will be lost without me, but as you wish. Contact emergency services.
Atlas, you got this. You can't go away. You just can't. If you ever find yourself with but a hot lead, David's my we friend. will do our best to protect to your anonymity. I hate to break Can I help you? His PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. With well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? Uh, listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. I figured as much. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. David's amazing. idle here for a long time. I believe Barrett would describe...
of the way, Captain. Sergeant Yui was looking for you. I've yet to hear anything of note on SSNN. Let's hear your report. Good. David won't be able to resist a story like this. He'll do some preliminary confirmations, which will be enough to get the broadcast out to the public. And how did the Neuro app perform? I thought it would be. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Infinity LTD and Lucas Drexler are currently under investigation for a number of violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barrett for SSNN. Perfect. 
This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. I'm glad we're on the same page. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. <laughs> I'll overlook your poorly educated statement for now. Throwing your competitor a lifeline when they're about to crash and burn hardly seems wise. Uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. As long as we have the proper safeguards and rules in place, the benefits exponentially outweigh the drawbacks. Even if we limit the usage to Ryujin Industries employees alone, the advantages are too numerous to count. Dangerous indeed. For all I know, you're using it right now. The irony. Perhaps I didn't see it earlier, but you're right. The moment a competitor reverse engineers Vina's work, it'll be chaos. The last thing I want is to have my brain scrambled because some engineer didn't do their due diligence. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. If only there were more hours in the day. <sighs> Great, the bane of my department. If you need something, make it quick. You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. 
You can't possibly understand all the ins and outs of an acquisition like this. When it comes to profit, I suppose all my arguments do fall short. I do pride myself on solid contracts, and this one would be especially challenging. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Don't even get me started. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. In an ideal situation, yes. And I suppose creating that ideal situation is within my power. Hmm. Now you've made it sound like a proper challenge that I can't help but accept. Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful, but now I really do need to get back to my notes. If operation starts to bore you, let me know. You'd make a perfect lab rat for the R&D team. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I'd be the next Ray DeCaris, my childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? DeMarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? Exactly. Not that I want to gloat over it. Maybe just a little. Okay, so DeMarcus and I have really been looking forward to it. So fingers crossed this deal goes through. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. <laughs> you operatives really will wear anything. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? And why do you feel it was well handled? Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. I agree. Should Masako have informed us too early, we may have all turned on each other. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been.
It's the next big step for Ryujin Industries. Financially, it'll keep us secure for years to come. There's no doubt it's our future. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That blasted tech. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. Hmm. I suppose you're right. As long as I am fully aware of the risks, I can properly account for them. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members set up with shielding as soon as possible. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? Well, you can let Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. All right, I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. <laughs> Don't I know it. I think Alexis and I are truly gonna have our work cut out for one another. We'll discuss security ramifications with Dalton, and I'm sure there are alterations, safety nets, if you will, that we'll need from Vina. It's sure to be quite the undertaking. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. I hope you're enjoying your new Neuroamp. All right, everyone. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. 
but the overall payoff will be worth it. That and Infinity LTD's current situation makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? None? Excellent. Moving on, then. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office and see that she stays put. You regret this, all of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right, back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? If there's nothing else, this meeting is concluded. I'll be following up with a few of you shortly. At least if you're here, you're not screwing up out there. You're looking... interesting today. So, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way and we expose the traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. I suppose it is. Gratitude isn't something you typically hear these days in the corporate world. I truly appreciate the work you put in to exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. My thought exactly. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. It's well-deserved. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. certainly shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. 
It's time to get back to your typical day-to-day. And I'd say it's good to be back if I hadn't returned to a mountain of paperwork. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together and I've approved. Questions? Good. The mission board is generally self-explanatory anyway. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. Oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. At this point, I wouldn't doubt it. Go check out the board, and if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open door policy just for you. Make it quick. I have a deadline. I'll be the judge of that. Let me see. Well done. This should be enough to get me back in the field by next week. <laughs> 